So there have been some Carmelo Anthony trade rumors, and there are some people that believe that he should be traded, but the thing is, will he be traded? And uh, this is a trade rumor that I've seen pop up. It's not this exact trade. I had to structure it to work a little bit better and, you know, make a little bit more sense. Because instead of it being Jay Crowder, it was actually Avery Bradley in the rumors that I've seen. And uh, it was just Carmelo in the deal going to Boston, not Ron Baker or Marshall Plumlee going along with him. So there is that. And uh, we take a look at the roster here. I mean, this wouldn't, I mean, the Celtics have a bunch of assets and now it's time for them to cash in. Whether or not that star is Carmelo, I'm not sure. I would, I would probably have to say no, but whether or not that is the case, I mean, look, the Knicks would probably get better with this trade because, I mean, they get better defensively with Jay Crowder and then Derrick Rose can just have... Poor Zingod play off of him and you know this is this actually I would argue this makes the Knicks better if you ask me I don't I don't know if it makes the Celtics better but let's find out right here as we start off Celtics 8-8 eight and, eight, and uh, I'm using real NBA simulation so we're starting off right at the date that I started this which was on Saturday since I'm doing this on Saturday and uh Celtics are looking pretty good, you know, starting off getting chemistry working. And uh, so 16 and 10 record going towards the end of the month of February or December. I don't know why I got February out of my mouth, but 19 and 12, 20 and 12 record. And uh, they finished with a 21 and 13 record in the month of Jan in the month of December and going into January. I mean, if this trade were to go down in real life, I'm not sure. I mean, it could kind of work because Carmelo can handle the ball. I mean, it makes them a little bit worse defensively, but they still have Marcus Smart and Avery Bradley. And also, Marcus Smart went down with an injury on November the 23rd in this scenario. I went back and looked at it. But this would sort of give them a score because Carmelo can be an effective score. His athleticism isn't as good as it used to be, but... He has Avery Bradley on defense. Isaiah Thomas doesn't play much defense, but Marcus Smart does. And um, you get, and you still have guys like Al Horford. I mean, the problem is the big men. Like, how are they going to be able to guard the big, guard the bigger players down low? You know, that's that's really where it's going to be. And you know, you can see the issues with that when we play the 76ers as you see we catch a we ca caught a couple if you paid attention closely we caught a couple of L's to the 76ers in this scenario and uh we we're having trouble with the better teams and so we're falling down in the conference as we were at second and first in the division at one point but now we've fallen down to second in the division and sixth in the conference and uh yeah you see we lose to the Sixers again and the big men guarding the big men is a bit of a problem as you took a look at the roster but this team would be pretty good offensively and you know i'm not sure if carmelo would entirely be the answer and uh i mean you see they're not getting it done against the better teams and you know going towards mediocrity the marcus smart the absence of marcus smart is really starting to pay off because he didn't come back until the 31st of march and you see on a bit of a losing streak from like the 15th until, I mean, look at that, only beating the Chicago Bulls and the 76ers finally beating them, beating the Pacers as well, hanging on to that 8th seed, and it's a battle between the Celtics and the Knicks, have to beat the Knicks in this upcoming matchup, and we cannot do that, and so the Knicks are back in the 8th seed, and we are falling off of the 8th seed, beating the Nets, but end up missing the playoffs so the Celtics ended up end up missing the playoffs in this scenario the Knicks actually end up making the playoffs to face the Cleveland Cavaliers and you can argue that they were actually better but Marcus Smart was injured in this scenario I'm not sure how his absence really would have shaped it out if he had played because it didn't really help him propel to a playoff spot it was really just because of the fact that Isaiah Thomas and Carmelo were both inefficient from the field as a whole 
and that really derailed the opportunities of getting better and you know I think this I could see something like this happening but you know Brad Stevens he's a better coach than I mean apparently what 2k gives him credit for and I mean the Celtics if they were gonna get a star like this I would see them getting more of a guy like maybe Blake Griffin or DeMarcus Cousins you know something something along the lines somebody along those lines yeah see Carmelo and Isaiah Thomas were both inefficient Horford was efficient but a lot of inefficient shooting you know a lot of inefficient offensive players for the Celtics in this scenario and this shows that this is not the answer this is Carmelo is not the star and you know I don't please Danny Ainge don't do this if you're watching this video I doubt that <laughs> nobody's gonna come across this video honestly but Danny Ainge I mean if the Celtics are my second team and you know I don't want to see this move go down because this would actually make the Celtics worse if you ask me and uh, you know it's only fun when both of my favorite teams are good I mean the Warriors the, I'm a Warriors fan before I'm a Celtics fan or well I'm not even really a, a Celtics fan you don't even have to I'm just a big time Celtics supporter because Paul Pierce is probably my favorite small forward of all time and uh, the Knicks lose to the Cavs in four and then I no in five excuse me but this would actually make the Knicks a lot better than what they are in real life if you ask me and uh, this isn't the answer for the Celtics so don't do this Danny Ainge and shout out to the Thunder for beating the Cavs in seven how ironic